Hey guys, today I'm bringing you a selection of my favorite games in one of my favorite tanks. Now, I had to make a selection because I've been doing quite well in this tank and I've been playing it quite a bit because I find it easy to do my missions in it. So I just made a selection of the games on it that I like the most. And this is it basically. So I missed my first shot by a mile, but then I can reload and just get some more shots in because they're completely ignoring me. I have a nice rock, so I'm not making it too easy for them to shoot me. And because they are ignoring me, I'm actually uh, activating my adrenaline to get more damage, more shots in, etc. And I always like it when they stand on the ramp like this or when they ignoring me like this guy is because he's so focused on the guy in front of him that he doesn't even notice me shooting him in the side. So I reload once more, kill him and then just start capping the base. Now I figured that I won't get any damage doing that but this guy actually pulls back so far that I get another shot into his side and while my teammates go uh, up against him, probably shouldn't be too worried about that. I can just cap the base in peace and then I can get behind him. Meanwhile, some teammates near the temple and I know that if the enemy were to have a brain, they would get two bases and then they would wait it out. But luckily in this match they generally don't have a brain so it's very easy for me to just turn around and head towards the temple. So going towards the temple I can take one or two routes, namely over the bridge, or I can take the safe route through their spawn. But because I have a rock here, I'm not entirely sure who I'll be able to shoot from here. I decide to go up the bridge anyway, because, well, it's tier 6, I'm in a fury, I'm not too worried. So I head on over, over the bridge, and I don't see a reason to exit sniper mode, because A, I know my way, and B, I have enough of an overview of the map uh, with just the minimap, rather than actually seeing it with my own eyes. So I now start going the way I would if we had started on the other spawn. And I see one guy, missing by a mile, get shot quite a bit in return, which is not as nice. But now I have a corpse, he's showing me his ass, and then he dies. And I'm probably being way too forward in this game right now, but well, no guts, no glory, and I seem to be doing okay. I have a temple here that's uh, keeping me safe for the most part. He's not looking at me. I switch to APCR mostly to just make sure that every shot I fire will pen because turret can be tried quite troll with that, but with APCR I have nothing to worry about. But he's got this little friend and I need to be careful with him because he can do a lot more damage. And I shoot the stairs instead of the tank, which does not help. So I peek out a little bit more, get another shot in. But now I have to be extra careful because they have a friend on the other side of the temple. One of my teammates has just stayed behind and is not really doing anything. And they're basically all focused on me. And if the guys near base A had pushed like they are doing now, I would be in a lot of trouble. So now I go towards the VK, because if I can get behind him, or at least use him as cover, uh, the TD can't shoot me that much. And it will be a lot easier for me to get rid of them. Even though that means taking another shot from this guy, it also means that I now have a corpse in the perfect position that I can actually use to shoot the guy, even though I bounce on him, which is not really handy. And I need to be careful. I bounce one shot and then I get another bounce in, which is no damage, so it's pretty useless. But he's finally taking damage from my teammate. I shoot him and then I kill him off. And then we just have the one guy left, so I go up the stairs to see if I can get that kill without getting more damaged. But I know that I will survive, so I'm not too worried. I kill him and that's the end of the game. Got a nice top gun, did quite a bit of damage. Got quite some supremacy points as well because I was the one in base C capping it. And I'm looking forward to seeing the results. And to be honest, after this match I'm not really surprised that see that nice little goal I'm there. I am surprised I did a whopping 3k damage in the tier 6 tank and that I got a steel wall in it. But overall it was just a really fun match and a good lesson in how to use corpses. Now, this game is quite different, and uh, you'll see why at the end of the game. And this is not a map that I particularly enjoy, I mostly like it at tier 10 with a good medium on my hands. But in this case I go towards the B base and to just cap it straight away. Because, well, if you do it straight away you can get lucky and get, can get away with it at times. But I know I need to be careful with the tanks over there if I want to cap the base, but I also want to do damage, so I shoot the wall, which is really useful. And then I just cap it and I know I need to be careful when peeking out because they will be looking at me. I bounce my second shot, do no damage with it. And then I just peek on out a little bit further, shoot my third shot, do absolutely nothing with that as well. 
the guy luckily shoots the building and I'm uh, trying to get a good target and finally get some damage. So after that not too good start of a game, I know I need to be careful and I activate my adrenaline to get as many shots in as possible before my teammates near base C collapse. And as long as they're not paying attention to me, it means that I can get damage in and we can hopefully save the day somehow. Now this guy is next, I shoot him in the ass, which hopefully always starts a fire, but it doesn't. He's n nearly dead, so he's gonna die soon and I need to get, take care to take these guys out. Meanwhile, the enemy is trying to get base A. We kill another guy and I go down and uh, want to get behind the IS in order to kill him. And I know that we have to get another base because otherwise the enemy team might just win on points because my team is evaporating just a bit quicker than the enemy team is. So I head on over uh, to get behind the IS and to start shooting him. He's lost most of his health. I have another uh, enemy team made behind me and I know I need to go forwards and get this guy fast and then see if I can get base C. So I drive on up to base C and overall even though I've been not doing too bad this game I don't like this game mainly because it feels so chaotic. I have to think fast, there's no relaxation and even though that can be quite fun as well knowing that it's tier 6 and that your teammates are absolutely useless it doesn't help so I finally get base C but I get shot for it and I know the suit is still there Mo one of my teammates dies again they already having base B and I know that I'm in a great deal of trouble now but luckily this guy at least is not doing anything useful so I can kill him off and then I start to go around the rock which doesn't go that smoothly and I turn around because I know the AT is there and I know that I need to kill them and I need to keep them from capping that base because otherwise we're doomed. So I turn around, he's actually with two there, which does not help. And I activate my adrenaline to get more shots in and I know the easiest target is better to kill first. So I get another shot in and I only have one teammate left who's steadily going towards base uh, B. I'm losing quite a bit of health bit by bit and I know that this guy is really gunning for me. So I decide to turn around and face this guy, see if I can kill him before he kills me and hopefully I can reload in time. I do and I still need to kill him once more so I need to get very lucky with this. But luckily I do that but in the meantime the 18 has actually capped the base and if my teammate had had any part of a brain right now he would have started in cabin base B, but he doesn't and that's why I'm just nah. So I can shoot the guy, but he's turning towards me, I bounce on him so it's actually quite useless and even though I bounce on him again with another shot, I know that there's really no time and I need to get more damage in, but he's waiting for me, I get one shot in, my teammate is finally going into base B, he misses, I get another shot in. But it's not going fast enough, the, uh, the guy is really gunning for me, my teammate is being absolutely useless. He misses again, I bounce on him and I know that it's just a loss and it's annoying. I peek out a little bit too far, get killed for it in the end as well. But it's just so frustrating because if the guy had just in base B had just gotten one shot in, we would have won that. I did 3.7k damage in a tier 6 tank. That's damage I would have been incredibly proud in in tier 7 or even tier 8 already. So yeah, that was quite a bit frustrating. But then we got this game and I love this game for multiple reasons. One of which is my two mate, Penguin Killer, who's uh, driving to with me towards base C. And I know that we can basically hold this if we just play it carefully. And this is a spot that I really love being in. It doesn't always work because if they are camping on the other side, then basically you're doomed quite quickly. But it's excellent for peeky booming and trolling the enemy into firing shots that don't actually pen you because they will hit the rock that you're hiding behind. And while I'm up here peeky booming, Ethan is just a little bit behind me and peeky booming through the other side. I've almost kept the base, which I now have. So now we're getting points. We have another enemy that is actually peeking up. I activate my adrenaline because I need to get rid of him fast. Hopefully before he does a lot of damage to me. So far he's bounced a shot so that's quite nice. And uh, now the enemy is rushing and I know that we need to hold. But they're pushing in too far. They're not pay uh, paying attention to me much. They're focusing on Ethan. 
and that means that I have free game as to getting behind them and loaning shots into them. So I need to get kills in this game before because of a mission. And Ethan is actually taking that into account as well. But I've also told him to just kill because, well, I don't want him to die. So we start shooting just whoever. But Ethan is still leaving the one shots for me, which is really nice. So now I need to kill one, and that's one. So I'm using the rock to peek out, even though one guy is still focused on me. And I know there's not a one shot there. I actually bounce on him, which is absolutely useless. And Ethan is holding his, well, his own so well. He's just being amazing. I'm shooting to Sue, who's focusing on me. And I peek out to kill another one, do get shot for it. But I don't really mind, because we're having a great game this way. I shoot the guy in behind, Ethan kills him. And now there's only just the Sue left. And it's actually just brilliant because Ethan kills him, we both survive because I had to survive for the mission as well. And we just were back to back doing amazing things together and it was just absolutely lovely. And it's games like this that I absolutely love. With a two made by your side the game can be so much fun. And I got another ace for that with 2.4k damage. We carried together so well and he held my back so well and yeah just perfect. And this is another one of those games with the perfect two made, in this case in the form of Nuno Nido Shark. And it's actually with the um, Halloween map going. And I peek out a little bit here, trying to get some shots. And I do get shot, but I want to go to the rock uh, a bit further, so I can actually shoot into their spawn and everyone that is hiding there. And at the right angle, the fury can be amazing to peek a boom with and bounce shots with at the same time. But now he's getting a friend there, and I know it's two versus one, but I have a YOLO uh, teammate that is actually going so YOLO that I need to push on forwards, and that is not going to go well. I don't think he'll survive for long. So I activate my adrenaline to get as many shots in as possible before he dies, so that hopefully the HP of these two reds will be so low that I can actually uh, carry and survive. So I know I won't be able to shoot that guy again, so I start focusing on this guy, and he only does track damage one shot. But I know that has more luck than anything else because he has been damaging me quite a bit. And he does that again. So I know I need to be careful because he can clip away my health quite a bit. And the more I have left over, the more I can actually um, kill the enemy. So I managed to read out before him and I kill him off. And then I turn around to shoot that guy. And as I peek around the rock, it's actually quite nice to see that he's not even looking at me. So I shoot him and I kill him off. So with most of my health gone, I actually want to use this uh, lovely little rune to hide behind some more. I unfortunately can't kill that guy, but on the minimap more enemies are starting to pick up and I can shoot the arrow a little bit. Then I have a little TD that is just starting to stand still. I get a shot into him and I just pull back again because A I don't want to get spotted and B I don't want to get shot. And my lovely teammate luckily has a lot more health left than I do. So I just stay here, hopefully, to get, be able to get some shots in. But in the meantime, the R and the TD have dropped off the grid. And I know that I need to spot them to know what they're doing. Now the R is steadily coming this way. I know that I have little chance of pinning them with AP, so I grab APCR, but pull it back too fast and actually shoot the ball. And at this point, I know that I'm gonna need help. I bounce a shot, luckily, and I kill off their tiger. But now the arrow is almost at me, and he can kill me in two shots. So I get a shot in, and he gets a shot in, which is not nice. So I reload, I shoot him, and I hopefully want to track him, but it does not not really work. But I have a Nuno that is coming, I manage to bounce a shot from the R, and Nuno kills him and saves my ass. So still using the same lovely room as my cover, I go out to look at the Sioux, and I shoot him. And then I reload again, I know that Nuno is reloading. And I shoot him, bounce on his flank, which is very useful. And then I wait to reload again before I kill him off. So that just leaves one enemy and I'm gonna go on ahead towards the base. To use other cover to hopefully survive and still get some damage in. And I know that I'm very lucky to survive thus far. And I'm very lucky to have Nuno as a tune mate that actually saved my ass did like this. So I go on towards the other side that Nuno is going to, so hopefully Nuno can draw his attention and I can get some shots in. I also notice that I have 4 kills, I set the guy on fire and I actually ask Nuno if I can have the last kill, which doesn't really happen when I bounce on him, 
but Nuno lets me reload again and I kill him off and I get a nice rally for it. So Nuno has been absolutely perfect with this, this was such a fun match, again it's lovely to have a teammate that can have your back and that you play together so well that it just works. I did 3.2k damage in the tier 6 tank again, so yeah, I'm really happy. And look at that, we just massively carried together, it was lovely. So the last game that I'm giving you today is actually a game that I'm really proud of. It's Supremacy, I genuinely I love Supremacy all the way around. And I can't wait for the update that will actually give us a Supremacy button so that I can play only Supremacy. So we start by taking base A quickly and early. And I see that I can shoot that guy, so I shoot him and I only track him and do no damage. And he actually spots me, so he shoots me, but he bounces me and by then I get another shot in, so I don't mind that much. I do get another shot in before it actually disappears from my view. have another enemy in sight who does damage me, unfortunately. And I know that I now need to make the decision either to stay here and try to get more shots in, which I will do because I have an IS that is actually peeking out. Or I need to reposition and do damage. Because like this my team will evaporate quite quickly. We already lost one and yeah that is just not gonna go very well. So the MT is actually just not looking at me so I can get to kill him off. And I actually finished the mission with that. Now that guy is driving away and I can get a shot in. He's driving against the building which helped me get another shot into him. But I know that it's tricky. I'm the only one here. The rest of my teammates are around him and basically they're gonna get wrecked and when you're behind this much it's actually quite tricky because on one way you need to like try and make your teammates survive as long as possible on the other hand you need to survive with as much hp as possible because if they start shooting you and you lose a lot of hit points then you will actually lose the game so i decide to use the desert as my best friend and only peek out i do get shot unfortunately and he starts capping base B and I know that I cannot let that happen. So I got another shot in and I pull back a little bit. He's actually gonna push towards me. And I know that I need to kill him as fast as I can. And by now I only have one teammate left. But luckily this guy is a bit of a potato. So he's actually now only now showing a bit of a brain by holding back. But I can see his compola and I kill him just as my last teammate dies. So now I'm in a bit of a pickle because I need to get out of where I was because they all know that position if they paid any attention to the minimap and I need to try get to uh, one of the bases to avoid them getting a much bigger upper hand when it comes to the points because that's why I love supremacy you can manipulate the game a lot more but you do need to have the space in order to do so so now they're capping B and I know that there is no way that I can decap that and they have a teammate that has actually gone to where I was just uh, before. I've been spotted now and I need to be careful. So I decide to stay in the desert because that might be my only salvation. And just go head on uh, with them and see if I can kill quite a few instead of hitting sand. Because that's not really that useful uh, before I die. So I do get shot and the guy survives. And I have an Arl now who also shoots me. So I'm losing health quite fast. And I will only be able to survive this if I can get that shots in without getting shots back. So that guy, you just need to kill the Arl first, then that guy is a one shot as well. So if he peeks out and he misses me, which is really lucky for me. I have two down now, so only two to go. He's a one shot as well, so he bounces on me and that means that I can kill him off. And that only leaves one guy. And oh my god, I'm just getting wrecked by nerves right now. But he's a one shot as well, so he shoots me, but I survive. And I shoot him, and I kill him, and I manage to pull it off. And I just love this tank. Next to the E5, this is like my soulmate in this game. I love the games that I have in it. I love being able to do carries like this. And it doesn't feel like a carry most of the time. It, I just do what feels natural. And then it works. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll be seeing you guys the next time again.